Carly McCord here with Matt Moscona from After Further Review in 104.5, 104.9 ESPN Baton Rouge post game, LSU versus Florida. Big victory, 35 to 28, but it wasn't easy and a lot of crazy things happened, Matt. Talk about it. Yeah, it's a series that's kind of been defined by the wacky and the weird throughout the years. And certainly tonight when a kicker scores a touchdown, you've got a punt return for a touchdown, a flea flicker for a touchdown. <laughs> I mean, you got to run through all that before we even talk about Leonard Fournette, who had 31 carries, a career high for 180 yards. And some fans leave the building tonight going, man, only 180 yards. So it's, it's, it's what's happened with, with the Fournette train right now, and he certainly didn't do anything to derail the Heisman talk. It was not an easy win for LSU. I think the secondary certainly had, and the special teams had some um, deficiencies tonight. But... LSU remains undefeated in conference play, undefeated overall, and it's where they wanted to be. Speaking of Leonard Fournette, he said post game that this team is better than he really thought they were. I mean, do you agree? I think LSU has surprised everybody in the country. People really wanted questions answered about the passing game, and you've gotten that the past two weeks with Brandon Harris going over 200 yards passing each of the last two weeks. So I, they're better than I thought they were going to be. I think. There are certainly still some questions defensively in the secondary to allow Treon Harris to come in and throw for 270 yards and Florida to have a shot into the end zone to win it at the end is uh, a little concerning. But the fact of the matter is to be to be 6-0, and to have won the way they've won and to have Leonard Fournette on the, the type of charge he is, I, I think everyone in that locker room would take it right now. Let's shift to special teams a little bit of a downfall tonight as per usual so far this season. How do you think they address that going into next week and to the rest of the season as a whole? Well, there were some personnel changes tonight. Darius Geis and uh, Nick Brissett were back returning kicks. Uh, Tredavious White, a muffed punt. You have to wonder if Trey White maybe is replaced on punt return duties. Uh, there were some personnel changes on kick coverage, and I thought overall the kickoff coverage was good. We even saw Cameron Gamble boom a, a few through the end zone for touchback. So maybe that's the route they start to go. Instead of saying, hey, let's not – kick it short and cover, just kick it through the end zone, concede the ball at the 25 and go play defense. I'll, I'll be interested to see, but special teams gaffes were directly responsible for Florida scoring 14 points tonight, and that could have been the difference in the ball game. they got to address it. Absolutely, and LSU faces Western Kentucky next weekend here in Tiger Stadium. We'll be here covering the game for you on all our social media for 104.5, 104.9 ESPN. I'm Carly McCord, Matt Moscona.